Hi guys, welcome back to the next tutorial and today we're just we're gonna be um looking at how to use the keyboard in our games. Um so in this tutorial we're specifically gonna be using the arrow keys to move something around. Um hopefully then next tutorial we'll look at start start having howing how howing how to make um a player like an actual player that you can control and move around so this this tutorial i'm just going to show you how to um use the arrow keys to move um so what you're going to want to do um is have all this code um just get your window file um if you have been following along um from the past tutorials then you'll you should have this window file just um we'll just copy this actually um so you just want to uh copy this control c is quite a good shortcut and we'll just paste it in here and uh rename it to uh what are we doing key presses key uh, keyboard we'll just name it keyboard um open that up with idle and um okay so in this uh by the way if you are just watching this video as a one off you'll want to um write down all this code so just pause the video and you can and then once you've done that come and play the video again so okay we're going to start by in this uh bit where we're we are looping through all the events in the pygame.event.get um method i think it is function um if the event or type we found is pygame.quit then we're going to quit this loop and so we're going to quit pygame but we are going to actually um, see if there are any other events that we might want to use and before we do that we're going to have to create two variables up here x and y and um, by the way guys just for shorthand um, you can put a comma um, between two variables and then put a comma between the values so basically x gets assigned 0 and y gets assigned 0 so if I put like 10, x gets assigned 0 and y gets assigned, assigned 10. Um, that's just, you can just do that for shorthand. Okay, and so we're going to do basically the same as this, except it's going to be slightly different. So um, event, if event.type equals um, pygame dot um, key down. Um, this is what we're going to be using. Okay, so this is basically looking at the event that we're in this current um, this current loop, and they're basically uh, it's Python's basically going to check whether the event is the key down event, which basically means if there's a key being pressed on the keyboard at this point in time, and then we 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 can if if there is a a key being pressed down we execute this code now obviously we want to see which key is being pressed um, but I mean if you want like in any key thing then you can just use this um, but we're gonna go in further put in another event um, if statement so if event dot type equals um, pygame dot dot key left um, um, basically that key left that is um that is the left arrow key on your keyboard and uh all the all the, the all the keys have different sort of names and I, I you can look at them if you uh if you do just type pygame dot and let, and uh um and wait for it oh sometimes it doesn't mm. My thing seems to not be doing what to do it today, but anyway, um, well, there should come up a list of all these uh, events. So anyway, um, let's go into this event. Um, by the way, we have got this event, this if, sorry, this if statement is nested within this if statement here. So, so we're first of all going to check if there is a key down event. And if there is, then we're going to check if there's a if the key, um, sorry, not event dot type, event dot key. Um, uh, this this um, event dot key, that's like the key of uh, 
of this key down event and so we can uh, see so then <laughs> sorry I'm not explaining this very well then we can just execute the code um, within here um, for the left key so basically what we want to do is change X um, by 10 um, now basically in in, uh, in Pygame the top right hand corner of the window is zero zero this is like zero eight hundred or something no sorry no eight hundred zero that the x and y coordinates are like x is first it's um and up here it's going to be zero and y is going to be zero up here in this corner in this corner it's going to be something like eight hundred zero because we're changing the x value and the x value is this way the y value is this way and if we're going right to the edge of the window, it's going to be like 800, because our, our window is 800. Um, so if we're moving left, we want to take away the x value, so we'll go this way. Um, whereas if we're doing w right, which we'll do next, so we, you can just copy this, it's quite easy. And we only have to change a few things, we just, well, we'll just change that to right. Um, if event.key equals pygame.k underscore right, um, we just want to add on, um, we just want to add on 10 to the x variable, um, which we've got here, and, uh, and we also need to, um, look for the up and down keys, and, uh, we will, uh, just control V again, um, and this this can be the up, up, and uh, and we're changing the y value this time because you remember y is up and down. So and we want to minus ten because going up that's close to the top. So that's going to be zero up here. And it's going to be like uh, I don't know what did six hundred down here. So we want to take away values to go upwards. And finally. Um, we want to do down. Um, by the way, guys, if you don't understand any of this, please feel free to leave a comment because this is slight. It's quite a step up from what we've been doing before. But once you've got your head around it, it's quite simple. Um, okay, so that is good. We will now just draw something on the screen to show where what our variables are. So pygame.draw.rect and we're just going to draw it onto the window and its color if you can see we've got black we we'll want to uh, create a white variable Oop. white and it's going to be 255 255 255 should it will understand this now guys it's quite simple and uh, so in this I'm just sort of sort of teaching you a new thing here this is this um, this method it's just uh, drawing a rectangle on the screen and it, it accept the first um, parameter is the uh, window and um, well what no not, not the window but the surface you want to draw the rectangle on and we're just going to draw it on the window for now so that's fine and uh, next one's the color and then the last one is um, a tuple containing four values and they're going to be the x and y coordinates and the size of the rectangle. So we want our x coordinate to be x, our y coordinate to be y, and the size will just make it 50 by 50, just make a square, a white square on the surface. Okay, um, hopefully that should work now. And um, so yeah, that is working all right. Um, the only thing is, I can't hold down the um, the arrow keys. It just I have to keep repeatedly pressing it. So what we actually want to do is instead of just changing the x and y values directly, we actually want to create another variable which stores if the if the um, object is moving or not. So what we actually want to do is like um, how uh, sorry um, how how like where, um, oh, I'll, I, you know, I'll just show you. Um, we need to create two variables, one for the x and one for the y. 
and these variables we can call I don't know um, move oh, probably x okay let's call it move x move x equals um, well we'll want it to be zero at the start and move y equals zero as well now um, I'll just make these capital letters because it's the start of a new word um, so move x and move y and um, yeah, these are basically going to, well, you know what, I'll, I will show you now. So, move x, we want to be set to 10, um, actually minus 10. Um, here, we want it to be set to uh, plus, plus 10. And um, move y here, um, um, let's just make these... Um, move x and move x right and um, this needs to be equals minus 10 uh, minus 10 and this here needs to be move y equals 10 right okay um, I will now explain this um, actually you know what I will s show you first um, hang on, that's not working for some reason. Um, oh yeah, of course. Um, and we also finally need to um, change x and y by move x and move y. So x equals x plus move. Oh, you know what? We can just do this easy way. Move x and y plus equals move y. Right, as you can see, that is way too fast, and also, um, as you can see, there's quite a big bug here. So, um, ah, and also, of course, we need to add in our clock. Um, sorry, I haven't added in our clock. Hang on, hang on, guys. Uh, pygame dot time dot clock. And we want to clock dot tick, and we'll set it to 50 frames per second. You should understand this. If you don't understand that, then um, then uh, please watch my previous tutorial on animation. So that's good, but there is a bug, as you can see. Um, well, you can't see actually. Um, I can't stop moving it. So what we're going to have to do, right, actually I will go over this now. So um, we create these two, these variables for move x and move y and x and y. And um, just to make that easier to read, just do that. Right, um, here um, we're basically, when we're going left, we want the move x to be negative 5. Um, so we're assigning, let's just make this look a bit more readable, we're assigning move x the value of minus 5 and when it's positive, we're going in the positive direction, we want it to be a positive so we just put 5 and um, um, here it's the same for the y. Now basically these move x and move y is how much we're going to change the x and y values by. Um, so, like, we're changing this x variable by move move x. It was like we were doing before. We were changing it by 10, but now we're just creating a variable. And basically, now what we need to do is, um, for the key, we need to do all this again, but for key up instead. So, um, so if we have got... Hang on, key down, here we go. We need to um, we need to change this to key up and uh, we just need to uh, set all these to zero um, and I'll explain why in a second. Zero and zero and hopefully that should work now. Okay, now we can stop. Um, so yeah, that's that's good. That is good. Um, so basically, what we are doing here is 
in the key, in the key, when when the when the corresponding keys have uh, like have got um, are being lifted when they're being upped, if you like upped, um, we we we've got a key up thing here. So we're setting if it's key left, then move x will just be zero, and we just resetting them all to zero so that when we're adding them on we're not adding anything so they stop um so yeah that is that is basically that um i'll go over this again and please feel free to leave a comment if you don't understand so we import pi game initialize pi game all that stuff yeah okay and we get those colors and we set these x and y variables to zero and zero and move x and move y to zero and zero and we get our clock um in the game loop we s we look for these events specifically we look for the key down event and the key up event um and inside these ev event um if statements if blocks um we look for the key and if it's the key left then we put move x to a negative and move x to a positive for key right um, up and down the same and uh, and if we've got key up method uh, sorry key up event um, then we just want to reset all these to back to zero um, depending on whether it, the left key was put up or the right key was put up or the up key or the down key and basically then we clear the screen we change the values of the x and y and then we draw a rectangle on the screen at the current positions um you can if you just search pi game draw thing on in, into google um then you can just see all the like draw events so you can draw circles and ellipses and um and other and other polygons um and then basically we limit the frame rate you should understand that if you've watched my previous tutorial on animation update the display and then of course out of the out of the loop we quit pi game um when this is false okay so that is basically it guys um thank you so much for watching um i really hope you enjoyed i am getting quite good at this now i hope hopefully well i hope you get you are getting good at this now um so hopefully next tutorial we will start to actually build a game like a simple game um because we do have the resources to do that and we are i'm going to introduce you to classes um which are basically like you can create loads of classes and they're all different instances um of these classes and they're called objects and um we can we can begin i think our project will probably be to create a mario game like for the final thing but that that is quite uh ambition because mario is extremely complicated as you might have guessed but um that should be fun and um so stick around for that um so yeah thank you for watching guys and see you if you do like my videos and the subscribe is appreciated if you subscribe to me and um a like is always appreciated for this video um so yeah goodbye